So in Afghanistan, it is the uh, toughest terrain, toughest enemy. And there were combat outposts in Afghanistan, which the only way those, those kids on the ground could get refuel, rearm, class one, which is food, water, was through Chinook. Chinooks were the only aircraft to get up that altitude and supply and keep those outposts manned. Quite simply, that, that aircraft had the capability to go higher and longer than even the Blackhawks. I was able to see firsthand, as an Army aviator, as a task force commander, what that Chinook meant, what that powertrain, that engine meant to the soldiers on the ground. You talk about the ability to execute your mission and the ability to sustain fire and still be able to fly that aircraft with that load on a single engine in combat conditions was extremely impressive. That's why it's probably the number one requested aircraft from all the ground forces to support is the Chinook because of its heavy lift capability, its size, and its reliability. The history of the T-55 engine goes way back to the 60s when the Chinook first uh, was fielded. And there were many iterations of how Honeywell, through that time period, always upgraded, always increased the capability, always helped make that aircraft better for the warfighter. Bottom line is, you know, the future of Chinook is very bright with Honeywell as the engine provider. The uh, 714 Charlie is going to increase that capability, allow the aircraft to even fly higher and hotter conditions. It will also allow it to fly further. Honeywell can offer uh, all that power in a uh, very cost-effective manner to support future vertical lift or the current, you know, CH-47s going forward. And ultimately, at the end of the day, it's going to be what's best for the warfighter, how to best support the warfighter because uh, as an Army aviator, our report card is written by that kid on the ground.